Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Monster Taming Games You Never Knew, the segment on this channel where we uncover new and upcoming monster taming games that you, well, probably never knew existed, this time for August 2023. Today we've got a few titles that really shake things up, including a game where you can bring your own creations into battle, a shape-shifting isometric game, a title where you can play on your smartwatch, and more. So as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Okay, so first up, we have Koraiden, a shape-shifting action RPG where, as you might have guessed, you have the ability to transform into various creatures and utilize their abilities in combat. Now, before you say shape-shifting and monster taming are two different things, Cassette Beasts literally has you shape-shift, so shush. Anyways, the game does have different uses for the various forms of shape-shifting. You can fight with your human form as one of the beasts you've collected, and you can even use these forms for world traversal, which is always a nice way to sort of encourage the use of different creatures. I do quite like the graphical style of this game so far. It definitely reminds me of Adore, which is another beautiful game that has a similar sort of vibe to it. Also, do note that you are going to be able to play this game in co-op with up to three of your friends so it's definitely something to keep in mind as well as I oftentimes get questions about co-op monster taming experiences. Next up we have a small project that was created by the developer of Mon May Maker which is a monster taming engine sort of like RPG but for monster taming games. That being said, Retromon, available for about a dollar in the Play Store, seems to be a showcase of what the engine can do. I've played a little bit of it so far, but unfortunately the game does seem to have some bugs, one of which had kind of softlocked me. But other than that, I do really love the art style, and I think that it's really cool that this engine exists. Special thanks to you guys in the Discord for recommending this to me, as finding information for this game was actually very difficult. If you can't already tell, it's a turn-based pixel art game reminiscent of classic Pokemon, where some of the people of your village have been spirited away without any clue as to why and it's up to you to find out where they are and bring them home. Next we got Doodle Dice Monsters, a very unique monster taming game where you can take control of monsters that you draw for battle. The game from what I can tell is fully a battler with no overworld or anything like that so if you're interested in more menu based games like Monster Rancher this definitely might be up your alley. Do note that combat in this game is turn based and can include one on one or multi combat battles. You also have monster tiers which are determined by how long it takes to create a monster and a low barrier of entry so it's definitely good. I feel like we could have a lot of fun drawing really stupid monsters for this game in a future video so let me know if you'd be interested in that. Next up we have Chronomon, a title that we recently covered since it's on Kickstarter right now, linked below by the way. But basically this is a monster taming JRPG life sim hybrid where you can raise your monsters from eggs, farm, enjoy various social elements, and explore the world whilst taking part in turn-based battles that take place right on the overworld, meaning that there's no transition scenes for battle. The game also, as the name implies, comes with a robust clock system and will even be playable on smartwatch, which is definitely pretty cool. As stated, Kickstarter is live, so if you like what you go check it out linked below. Finally, last but not least, we have a game that my good friend and fellow YouTuber Barry Bandit showcased to me, this being Go There, a side-scrolling dragon-taming action game where you utilize a wand to take control of giant dragons in combat. The game itself is pretty interesting in terms of its premise. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Shadow of the Colossus in that there's very little story. In fact, this game doesn't even have text at all, so that kind of takes it to the next level, but there's also not many obstacles other than the giant dragon bosses themselves. Now, I do want to note that the first half of the trailer mostly focuses on the player with this one dragon. However, there are parts of the trailer and screenshots on the Steam page showcasing that you can use a plethora of them. However, I'm not exactly sure how the recruitment process will work or if it's a situation where you pick your dragon partner and then dive into a run. I'll be honest, there isn't a whole lot of information on the Steam page, but I will leave it linked below because this has some absolutely fantastic pixel art and definitely fits into that category of monster taming games that are out of the box in that this one's a side side-scrolling action game rather than a turn-based one. And there you go guys, another five monster taming games that you probably didn't know about. I definitely need to do an update to my monster tamer news list because we've been putting out like one or two of these every month and it's getting kind of crazy to keep up. But ultimately, the genre is so vast and contains such a variance of game types, I don't feel like these games ever overlap with each other. If you have any monster taming games that you don't think a lot of people would know about and that are new and upcoming, 
definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you do enjoy daily monster taming videos, definitely subscribe to the channel because that's exactly what we do here. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. And special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogue Ghost, Dark Persona Exodus, and Candy Maruncy. And I'll see you next time. Peace.